I started to rollerblade in the year 1995 when I was 13 years old. And for the next six years, I think I missed about 10 days. I'm pretty sure that my first kiss was on rollerblades. And she was on rollerblades. We were in the parking lot of a Catholic school. I get my I get my exercise, I get enjoyment, I get well, joy. And uh, there's just nothing like the feeling of being in perpetual motion. this beautiful dance-like symbiotic relationship where my feet and my brain know what to do and my desire to film something will ask my brain hey film that my brain asks my feet and my feet bring me there I don't really have to think about it it's become instinctual it's become a reflex that my feet and my vision are now integrated and I am a human camera dolly. I am genuinely pretty ecstatic when I'm roller skating. I love it. There's this little area of my brain that gets flooded with the happy chemicals. Let me get a beat. 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 I kick it funky like feet. Let me get a beat. 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 I kick it funky like feet.
my grandfather, having grown up on a farm and having one of the only sources of wholesome entertainment in his area being a roller skating rink, I learned that my grandfather had prowess on roller skates. As an adult in my 30s, my late 30s, I chose roller skates over roller blades because they, they hit a different area of our collective consciousness and nostalgia. When someone sees you on roller skates, they say, oh my God, I haven't roller skated since I was a kid. Or they will tell you unsolicited the last time they were on roller skates. Um, they might say it was when they were a child. They might say, I haven't done that in 20 years. Or they'll ask me if I know anything about Burning Man and that they had roller skated at sunrise uh, because somebody sets up an entire roller skating rink in the middle of the desert that's open 24 hours for seven days straight. People have seen me on skates with my camera and then hired me to do camera work and requested, bring your skates. Can you do that thing where you skate around and you still do photography, but you also do it on skates? I think this happens for one reason, and that is people see my joy. I'd rather be in punk traffic, punk track traffic. Memories of my first rollerblading. A lot of bruises, a lot of scars, a lot of memories. And on a serious note, like rollerblading saved my life as a teenager. It gave me something to do. It gave me a natural high. 
It gave me a natural source of serotonin and pride and joy that didn't involve like bad things. I was like a total nerd for rollerblading back then and it kept me healthy and it kept me out of trouble. When I see skate parks, like when we went to the drop-in center, it reminds me of how uh, the skate parks of our youth were a great place to go, spend some time. community of roller skaters. They convene locally, they convene nationally, they travel, they travel internationally. In uh, September 2019, I went to Barcelona and I met with hundreds of die-hard roller skaters from Indonesia, Germany, Brazil, Florida, Brooklyn, California, Canada, all across the world, all with one thing in common. They're passionate about strapping wheels to their feet and dancing and being in community. I can tell you that roller skating never died, that roller skating is not coming back because roller skating never left. And there are roller rinks all across America, all across the world that are crushing it. Roller skating, roller blading, never really died. It just kind of fell out of uh, popularity. It fell out of the mainstream. And then when everyone was locked up and they were thinking about their health, they were thinking about their mortality, they were locked up in their house with a whole shitload of nothing to do. Roller skating made a resurgence. And now there's a, now there's a renaissance and I'm all about it. I'm pretty sure that my first kiss was on rollerblades. And she was on rollerblades. We were in the parking lot of a Catholic school. That Catholic school had a sign that said, let the pre-born babies live. And I used to yell at my mom to take me to go see the pre-born babies live. <laughs> my mom explained to me repeatedly that that was not a band and that was not a rock concert that I was missing. 
I insisted on going to go see the newborn babies live. 